The Barkri balloon is used for the treatment of postpartum hemorrhage caused by uterine atony when uterotonic drugs are unavailable or ineffective. The Barkri balloon consists of a silicone balloon connected to a 24 French silicone catheter, an IV giving set, and lastly, a syringe. The giving set is attached to the top of the three way connector. Then the Barkri balloon and the syringe are attached on opposite ends of the three way connector. Lastly, the IV giving set is connected to a bag of saline solution. To prevent overinflation of the balloon, it is advised to use a volume no greater than 500 milliliters. The Barkri balloon is inserted into the uterine cavity by inserting the hand into the vagina and reaching up to the uterus. Care should be taken to insert the entire balloon past the cervical canal and internal ostium. If the balloon is introduced transabdominally, the inflation port and catheter drainage port are connected. Then the balloon is introduced transabdominal with the inflation port first, as seen here. The uninflated balloon is passed through the caesarean incision into the uterine cavity. The inflation port is pulled through the vaginal canal until the base of the balloon reaches the internal ostium. The drainage port and inflation port are separated again and the giving set is connected as previously shown. It is advised to close the caesarean incision before inflating the balloon in order to avoid puncturing the balloon or suturing it to the uterine wall. To fill the Barkri balloon, the plunger of the syringe is pulled to fill the syringe with saline solution. The port is then rotated 90 degrees and the plunger is pushed to inject warm saline solution into the balloon. Care should be taken to fill the balloon with no more than 500 millilitres of saline. Overinflation may result in the balloon being displaced into the vagina. To prevent displacement of the balloon into the vagina, counterpressure can be applied by packing the vaginal canal with gauze swabs. Furthermore, it is advised to continue the administration of uterotonics, guided by local protocol. Lastly, a fluid collection bag is used to monitor uterine bleeding. The balloon should remain inflated for 12 to 24 hours, and it is advised to combine this with the administration of antibiotics.